Hi everyone, I'm Ron Russell. I'm with Sun Cafe here in Studio City, right by Universal Studios. Today I'm gonna to make a raw green stew. Greens are the healthiest thing you can eat. They're very nutrient dense, they fight off disease, uh, they have lots of fiber, which helps grow probiotics in your own system, and many, many other reasons why greens are so important to you. We're gonna take two plum tomatoes, just chop them up a little bit. You're gonna be using a food processor for this. And then we've got um, sun-dried tomatoes, which seems kind of redundant, like we're putting in fresh tomatoes and then sun-dried, but the difference is sun-dried have an amazing uh, uh, texture to them that in raw food you don't get that texture very often. It's a very chewy texture. So that's a good thing. And on top of that, they have a really dense, rich flavor that adds a lot. And even though we're using a food processor, sun-dried tomatoes don't chop up very well in the food processor because they are that texture, of that chewiness. So I like to cut them up a little bit before I put them in. So I'm gonna put those in. And then uh, we're going to put in a little bit of onion. Now, in the raw food world, you want to be very careful about how much onion and uh, garlic you use because they are much stronger when they are raw than they are when they're cooked. An example of that is, think of French onion soup. There's tons of onions in there, but it's not too much. If that was all raw onions, you can imagine you're not going to enjoy that. So. I'm going to just chop it up just a little bit, put it in there, and then I'm going to put in the tomatoes. All right, and then we're going to put in the seasoning. So uh, we put in about two cups of tomatoes, about two large tomatoes, and then the sun-dried tomatoes was two to three tablespoons of that about um, uh, two or three tablespoons of onion. And then we've got three quarters of a teaspoon of sage, dried sage. Um, we have uh, thyme, which I'm using uh, one teaspoon of, of thyme. And I've got uh, uh, one teaspoon of of garlic that's been minced. And I mince it because you can do it two different ways. You can put the garlic in first, mince it up, and then put all your other ingredients, or you can mince it and put it in with your ingredients. You don't want to put in a whole clove with the food processor. It just doesn't um, fully process it. And then we've got one half teaspoon of black pepper, and we've got salt to taste, which for this is about a half a teaspoon. All right, now this is gonna be essentially our sauce. So I'm gonna process this up and we're gonna blend this pretty much fully down to a sauce. And now we're gonna add in our greens. And the greens, like I said, we don't want them to be blended down to a liquid. We want, we want some texture to this so that it's a little bit chewy. So we're gonna just pulse it in a little bit and chop it up marginally. Okay, so. Also the pulsing helps pull the, the vegetables down into the um, into the blade. If you just run them straight, sometimes they just twirl around. Pulsing actually pulls them into the blade. sides for a second. Okay. Just a little more pulse. All right. So here we go. I think we're all good. So here is our stew. Just going to pull out the blade real quick. Get it into the bowl. Okay. 
there is our stew. Let it um, marinate a little bit, a few minutes, you know, 15 minutes or so, help let the bl flavors blend together. And, and you've got a really nice little entree there that's got your greens in it, but it's not the same old smoothie kind of thing. That's how I normally get my, my greens, is smoothies and, and salads. So something a little different. So enjoy, and we'll see you soon. Thanks.